Okay, hopefully y'all can see me. Um, I'm, I went live because I told you guys that I was going to show you how I do my ocean topped resin boxes. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um, I'm actually going to torch these real quick and get all those little bubbles out. I'm going to adjust my... There we go. Now you can see all the pieces. So what I have is 10 of the boxes that I make. These are all going to be an ocean top design and I've already put the resin on the top. So the next part is, is for me to pop all the bubbles out and move over the stick then. Um, so then after I get these bubbles popped, I will add the driftwood, the sand, rocks, piece of, um, to complete that design. Okay, hopefully, yep, you can see. Okay, now what I've done is set all the pieces aside from the box that I was gonna actually put the design on. So I'm gonna take and put those pieces in place right now. Oh, shoot, that was this way. My mistake, my mistake. Oh. I already put a piece on in a spot that I didn't want it, so I just want to kind of blend it in real quick. You probably wouldn't even know when I'm done that I had accidentally done that. Okay, I'm gonna continue on. I do try to pick um, a fun direction to lay the wood and have it stay on the, um, the box because I think that three-dimensionalism is really important. Gives it that final detail. So, hey, you know, if I just pick this up off the beach, it would look like that. That one's a tip. I think I'm gonna have to let this one tip, actually. Let's let this one have We're gonna let that one have a big shell hold it up. Attempt to. Come on. Okay, anyways, moving on. We'll work with it. Let's get this piece on. Last piece of driftwood. So now what I'm adding is I'll go through these and pick so, like one fancy rock and a piece of beach glass because I think every piece should have at least that little bit of specialness to it. Um, I also have miniature shells, miniature rock, and a little bit more sand if I feel like I want to kind of sprinkle some in in particular areas. Um, so I'm just going to get at it. I think I'll start with some of the little rock 
And at this point, I'll just sprinkle some on here and there. Work it into different areas. I'm not trying to crowd it in, but I also would like to have something to maybe lean some of those other elements up onto. As the resin hardens, um, you'll find that it'll hold things a little bit more um, vertical. So if there's something you wanted to hold up in a, in a particular direction, you might. So just keep an eye on that. If it's something you wanted to do, I have an opportunity for you to be able to do that. I'll put a couple of little shells. Everything's settling in nicely, it looks like. I don't do the wave design too quickly because I do want it to stay a little bit more consistent on these smaller of boxes. I'm not looking for this huge blown wave. I'm just looking for a smaller detail. can go and get anything you want and put it inside of resin pretty much. I mean, a lot of materials can handle that heat, you would be surprised. And then I say heat because it does, it gets super hot when it's going to cure and that's how everything holds on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my elements on, I'll do all those together at once. So if you like the little rocks, I suggest using fish tank rocks. That's what these are. You can get a pretty good sized bag for a good price and that adds that real small details to the beach element look. Sorry, something fell into my design. I have to get it out of there. Okay, I'm almost done with the sand and shells and rock part. And then I'll get into the final details of adding like a larger shell and that beach glass piece. try and do is before I get off the live I'll show you um, a close-up of these pieces and in some ways they'll look a little bit different once it cures but for the most part you'll see this is what the details are because it's really hard to get all of this in one shot and be able to get a close-up and show you what I'm doing unfortunately but you still get the gist of it once you see that close-up I think and if there becomes a demand for something closer I can always just maybe focus on doing one 
and have that camera focused right in on it for me so that you guys can see it. Okay, now well, for the fun part. Well, it's all fun, who am I joking? So I have the front of the box is on this side of the table, front of the box of those is on that side of the table. So I keep in mind when I'm setting my other bigger detailed elements, I wanna be able to see that mostly. I don't wanna hide it behind something too much. It does look cool having it on both sides, but I don't wanna hide it necessarily. So I just wanted to kind of mention that. And I think tucking things in and making it look hidden is a lot of that fun details. This is exactly how you'd find it at the beach. So I'll move you in closer just for a sec. You can kind of see that detail there. What I've just added, the shell, the beach glass. I have a lot of lights above me, so I'm sorry for the shine. Okay, there we go. I know it doesn't want me to move the picture. It'll get fussy on me, so... That's all I'll move it, I promise. All right. I'm gonna grab some more beach glass from this side. Cubbies over here. There we go. Just kind of wipe them off a little bit. You don't want the dust on it because obviously, just they're dirty pieces, anyways. They've got all those nooks and crannies. So, okay, I want that one there. Show you guys all my colors. Some of this beach glass is stuff that we've found on the beach, but some of it is definitely stuff that I've purchased because the bigger chunks are obviously harder to find. And I've got I'm gonna stuff this green one right in between there and it'll basically glow so no matter which side you're looking at that um, it'll look really cool I think I want to do a bright blue with this one just kind of tuck it in right there Perfect. 
go. And this one. Oops. Let's see if I can get it tucked. Mm -hmm. Somewhat hiding, but uh, you can obviously still see it in the front there. All right. Let's add a couple of stones to these. close up and then I'll I'll end the live and take some pictures and share pictures. Ooh. Too much pressure. show this one off. Actually, maybe I'll just bring it over to the camera. Okay. So here's this one. We added um, a little bridge on it, so. Okay, well, I hope you guys liked it. I know I don't usually do a live, but um, I figured, what the heck, I'm already through a lot of this process, so I'll just show you what I have left. and. I want to teach you guys a little bit more about it. I'll put a full in-depth video on YouTube because that's where I'm trying to put all of my informational stuff so you guys can kind of just look at it whenever you want. Um, again, I appreciate and you know all those things that people enjoy that you do for us. Um, and I appreciate everything. Hope you enjoyed. All right, guys.